I'm Wee Wee Moon, and I'll be showing you how to control two Linux computers with one keyboard and mouse without using a KVM switch using an application called Synergy. Synergy also works for Windows and OS X, but because there are uh, G GUIs for both of these versions, uh, this makes their setup really simple, so I didn't really seem to see the point in including them. But if you do have any questions regarding setting up two Windows machines, a Windows and Linux machine, OS X and a Linux machine, or anything else, and you know this this platform is cross-platform, so you can, uh, you can control a Windows and Linux computer with one keyboard and mouse. It's just this specific tutorial is geared towards two Linux computers. But yeah, if you have questions about anything, just leave a comment below, and I'll be glad to help. So here we go. What you see here is my desktop with the three um, three computers on my desktop, and I have one dual monitor desktop computer, and I have one laptop computer. So what you see is the dual monitor desktop computer on the right and the laptop computer on the left. So the computer that I have here is my server, which means that it has the keyboard and mouse that the other computers are going to connect to and use. So when setting up your Synergy server, the first thing you're going to want to do is install Synergy. You type in sudo apt install Synergy for Debian base, or yum install Synergy for Red Hat base uh, systems. Once you have it installed, you're going to want to open up your favorite text editor, that mine would be gedit and then type in synergy.com. That is going to be the configuration file for Synergy. Here is mine, but here is a template for you. So let's look at this and let's make it a little bit easier to read. Section, screens. What you need for screens is to put the host name of each computer that you have. So, um, screen one for me is Desk Duncan because that is the name of my server computer. Screen two is Duncan because that is the name of my client computer. So, as you can see here, Desk Duncan colon, Duncan colon, and that is the end of the screens section. Now, this part is a little more complicated to understand. Links. Desk Duncan, and that's this computer. To the left of Desk Duncan equals Duncan, because my laptop is to the left of my desktop. And then Duncan, to the right of Duncan, is Desk Duncan, because the laptop is left of my monitors on my desktop, so my desktop is right of my laptop. And then end. And that's it. That's all you have to do to get your Synergy.com working. And you just save that to your uh, your home directory. And that's all you have to do for that. So in order to get the Synergy server running, you simply open up a terminal. And this is just a test run. Open up a terminal and type in Synergy S because it's Synergy server. And then I'm going to put a slash F and that, that shows everything that's happening. It doesn't hide any of the information. And then I'm going to type in dash C, which is for configuration file, synergy.conf. And then I would hit enter, were I not already running Synergy. And then once you hit enter, actually I believe I can, once you hit enter, you see it says... You know, cannot listen for clients, address is already in use for me because I am already running Synergy. But it'll tell you that it's it's listening for clients. And that concludes the server part of Synergy, and I will see you again shortly. So this is the client computer, the one that connects to the server. And I'm going to show you how to install Synergy on it. And ignore me talking in the bottom right corner because my microphone got messed up when I recorded this the first time, so I'm just dubbing over audio. The first thing you're going to want to do is sudo apt install Synergy. 
or Yum install Synergy if you are on a Red Hat Fedora, DV, uh, Red Hat Fedora OpenSUSE kind of thing. It'll install. And then what you need to do to, uh, uh, to run this is type in Synergy C, which I should do in a second. There we go. Synergy C, and then the host name of the server computer. And that's the name of the server computer. So to figure that out, and if you don't know it, it's not that hard. To figure it out, you just use the command host name. You type that into the terminal. Just type in host name, and it'll give you the response. And for my computer, it's Duncan. And for my server computer, it's Desk Duncan. And then once you uh, once you go to your server computer and type that in, you can just type in Synergy C. You said the C for being client, and then the host name of your server computer, and now it will be running. If you want to see the output of the command, you just have to type in synergy c slash f desk Duncan. And as you can see, all the commands. For me, it says, fail to connect the server. Server already has a connected client with our name because I'm already connected to the client, which is how I'm moving my keyboard and mouse on my client computer. And that's a very complicated way to get synergy running, but I just wanted to show you how it's meant to work. And next, I'll be showing you how to do it in a much simpler fashion using a few third-party tools developed by people other than the Synergy crew. The application you see before you, right here, is Quick Synergy. And because there's no GUI for it, but there's a GUI for Windows version, someone was kind enough to write this. It's uh, free, it's in the repository, it's just sudo app get install quick synergy or yum install quick synergy, it's in both of them I've checked. And the way it works is it's synergy quickly. So on the, sh on the uh, server computer, what you do, uh, if the computer you want to share with is on the left, to, on the physically to the left of your server computer, you type in the host name of the computer you want to share with to the left of you. So let's say I want to share my computer with the com with the computer client. And then I would click execute and that's all I would do. I would minimize it and go about my tasks. And then what you would do on the server computer, I'm sorry, what you would do on the client computer is you would go down here and you would type in the server's host name, same as when we had to do with the terminal, and the let's say the name of the computer is server. Click execute. It's working. That's all you have to do. So for the client, com for the server computer, you type in the name of the computer you want to share it with. So if I was on my server computer and I wanted to share the keyboard and mouse of my computer with somebody else, I would type in the name of the computer I want to share it with, right here. If the computer was to the left of me, here. If the computer was to the right, above or below. And then on the client computer, I wanted to I want to use the keyboard and mouse, so I would type server in the screen name or the IP address if you prefer that, and click execute. And that's it. That's all you have to do for Quick Synergy, a very cool and simple application. All right. I know this video has gotten kind of long, so I'm going to stop it here. All I'm going to say is, if you want to know how to get Synergy running at startup, leave a comment, and I'll make a video about it. Uh, and if you wanted to check out my channel for more videos like this, that would be just great. Or you can just click right here for my most recent video, which is using your iPod, including L, L Martin everything, using Rhythmbox, 